In this video, we'll have a look at the binomial distribution from a graphical perspective. The binomial distribution is defined by the number of trials n and the probability of success p in one of those trials. In this distribution, there are 10 trials. The probability of success is very low. That's 10%. So let's have a look at the graph. From the graph, you can see that the probability that you have no success, or one, or two, or three, or four successes is fairly reasonable. And then for five successes onwards, you can't even see anything on the graph here because the probabilities are so small. So if you have a distribution where p is very small, it takes this kind of shape. Larger probabilities here and small probabilities on this side. And you can see from the graph, the shape of the graph represents the probabilities rising to a maximum and then decreasing down to a minimum. In our second binomial distribution, the probability of success is 0 0.5. So the probability of failure is also 0 0.5. And what you will find is that the graph is symmetrical. OK, so when p is 0 0.5, you have a symmetrical graph. So the shape of the distribution is one of symmetry, like this. And lastly, if the probability of success is high, so we have a 90% chance of success here, then the distribution looks like this. So you can see that all of these bars here are on the right-hand side of the distribution. On the left here, the probabilities here are very small. They don't even show up on this graph. So now, doing a sketch of the distribution, you find that you have a long tail on this side and all of your probabilities are all focused here on the right-hand side. Again, the probabilities increase to a maximum, and then they decrease.